go get him again. Welcome back to the Robzoi channel. I'm your host, Mark, and on the docket today, we have an unboxing first impression video on the brand of Initio. This one called Absolute Aphrodisiac. So let's see what this one is all about. A brand that I hardly speak about. I do own Oud for Greatness, which wasn't really that great, pun intended. And also decanted side effect and that video is on my channel that I unboxed it and gave a first impression, which was an okay gourmand, but uh, we are on our third here from the brand on my channel, Initio and PDM, sister brands, if you didn't know. Congratulations on the sale of the brand, by the way. Those people, uh, whew, what a windfall, eh? <laughs> They uh, used and abused their fragrance community uh, to a huge paycheck. Great for them. They are tip of the spear of the Free Bottle Brigade. And uh, so we'll see if they hit here with me. And again, just because you give out free bottles, I have no issues with the free bottles themselves. It is the whole concept of it, of it's the talking heads, basically. That's the issue I have. Um, everything's a nine, everything's a 10, when first launched, and then crickets after that. Um, we all have our tastes. Nothing is the ultimate panty dropper compliment factor. There's not, there's no such thing. Everybody has the same taste. Just because someone says that this is a compliment getter, I would smell this on somebody. You know, I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing here. I'm just making assumptions, but um, I may smell this on somebody and go, mm, okay. Uh, but I would smell maybe a Gerlain fragrance and I would give them a huge compliment. Now, I'm just using an example here. Um, so it's, it's you know, there's no automatic potion. So is this gonna be another flop or is it going to be actually something that I'm gonna think, hey, maybe they do have a few good ones. Every brand has a few good ones in my personal taste. They have to. Um, it can be in my personal taste, but not well constructed as per the price. I think this is where a lot of initios and PDMs kind of fall flat for me. Like I do like, you know, Wajon, that is right up my alley. It's a gourmand. Um, it's, however, it's based on an Edema's essence that just does it better. And that's my thought process. So um, if you're interested in information like that from a fragrance reviewer, that won't be, you know, you know I won't be biased. I'm, I'm not going to uh, tell you that, oh, free bottle, this is a nine out of 10, no. Uh, hit that subscribe button, push that like, push it, <laughs> smash that like button, uh, much appreciated. And if you are already subscribed, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look at the note breakdown of Initios. What's the name of this? Absolute Aphrodisiac. And this is not a return to product, lo and behold. Um, I am going to make 10 mil decants for FragFlex on this bad boy. So keep it tuned in on their website, I'll tell you. Uh, go check them out. And uh, yeah, yours truly is building. I'm going to basically, uh, I won't have any more juice left. I'm going to do 10 mil decants for them. So we'll see what we got. So let's take a look at the note breakdown. And from what I see, and probably from what you see, I'm assuming I pulled the, the notes from Fragrantica. I do that. I put it on the side just to let you know Fragrantica is not gospel of note breakdowns. I'll tell you that right now. Um, often, not often the case, but you can go on the brand website and some of them publish their notes and it's not the same as Fragrantica. Just a little bit of that extra homework as a fragrance reviewer uh, will really go a long way as far as publishing videos. So here we got white florals, musk, amber, vanilla, castorium. Whoa, whoa, castorium and leather. Okay, castorium and leather, they play well in the sandbox. Now, as a fragrance reviewer, I'm looking at the brand I'm looking at what they've done in the past and all that. So the excitement is not up there. And uh, again, I'm just forming my own thing here. Even though I see a sexy note like Castorium that I think would be maybe animalic, obviously Castorium is animalic. Do I think this is gonna be, no. If I was a betting man, I would say the amber and vanilla is going to dominate this fragrance. We're gonna see. Um, so this was released in 2015, so it has its years around the block. Hey, next year it's gonna hit its 10 year anniversary. Congratulations. Uh, the nose, Alexandra Kaczynski. So let's open this one up again. I'm assuming this one was not a returned product. I, I could be wrong, but um, there's two stickers here that uh, look sealed. It doesn't look like it's, uh, so pardon me when I uh, remove this, it's gonna take maybe a little longer than usual. Um, so there's a sleeve on top of the box, I believe. 
Yeah, and these boxes are, I actually really, honestly, PDM and Nishio, um, if I have to give them points on, on something niche, something nice is, I really like the boxes here. Like it, it has like almost a rubbery uh, feel to it. Um, well, that's where it ends, uh, but still. <laughs> uh, the bottles, eh, you know, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Um, there's nothing crazy here. Um, I don't think I've had issues with the bottle. I don't think I have, no. Um, so there you go. What's the name of it? Absolute Aphrodisiac. So, okay, big, big name. And the bottles themselves, are, I like the texture of them. Yeah, kind of like rubbery feel. I like it. Um, good detail, like they've, they've spent money on these bottles. Yeah. Okay, so let's put it on strip and then we'll put it on skin as per usual. Uh, uh, first impression is never a good first impression if you just put it on strip. If you have to, you have to, if you're wearing something, I'm not. This is the morning, I'm ready. Let's go, let's sniff this one out. And you can see the atomizer was already primed. Um, so, and again, I don't have that much um, experience with Initio, but your atomizer should not be already primed. Um, so maybe got unboxed, returned, whatever. The atomizer is like a laser, this thing. It's it's not bad. Oh, I just sprayed the, the box. Um, so let's sniff this one out. And oh, <laughs> she's gourmand. I told you it's going to be a vanillic thing. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that is... <sighs> mm, that is some scratchy vanilla, my friends. Um, It is very <sighs> sugary overdose vanilla. Now... I, I like my animalics, I like my leathers, I like my incense, I like the dark stuff, but I am also a vanilla lover, right? It all started with me with Le Mal, then I went to Boss Bottled. Both have vanilla nuances in the fragrances, and I've always loved my vanilla. Spiritus du Bleveni, which is over my head here, is the number one vanilla in my eyes. Simple vanilla, there's complex vanillas, but this right here, super synthetic vanilla touch here. Um, it really, and it just ceases to amaze me. Like, I don't know, like where do these go for? 300 Canadian? Uh, I, I might be, maybe, we'll say 250 Canadian. So American mid 200s, I'm assuming. Uh, it's been a while, like I bought Oud for Greatness, but that was the only one I got, and that was a long time ago. Um, this smells like a heavy gourmand, designer fragrance like it's going into this stronger with you kind of pattern it, i mean quality wise now does it remind like it could smell like something like a baby cat things like that like there is some um more expensive fragrances however the thing with those is there's nuances to that vanilla and that makes a big difference this is a sugar vanilla bomb it has a little bit of, and I think that's what people uh, kind of go towards. It has a little bit of personality. Uh, there's an amber in here. Amber can give out a caramelic um, feel. Almost think like almost chocolatey. So it gives a little bit of color to the vanilla. So it kind of really goes into that simplistic gourmand aspect. Um, not that I'm saying that's a bad thing. I'm, I, I like that touch. I think this would be <laughs> a fairly simple fragrance if it didn't have that touch, honestly, because all I'm smelling is that. Um, Castorium in this early stage um, isn't animalic. It's not even a factor at all, uh, if I'm being honest. This is a sugar factory right now off the strip. So let's put it on skin. And, uh, you know, uh, as for now, an issue, this isn't going to... This is not gonna be the one that breaks the bank. However, it's built like things that I like. It is. It's that vanilla is very overdosed and synthetic. It like, and again, I give Gatelay as a, it's like night and day. If I'm, you know, I'm almost doing a disservice kind of, you know, trying to put Gatelaine vanillas because that's probably the top tier vanillas in the game versus this thing. It's like a child made this versus Gatelaine. Gatelaine has the blending. Um, it has the volume. And, and, and those are things that fragrance reviewers don't tell you about is that this is loud, obnoxious, vanilla, sweet bomb, but it's not a good vanilla. Like to me personally, it's not. Um, it has a little bit of that intrigue, that caramelic, ambery uh, glow. 
There's a little bit of those white floors. I can feel a little bit of those white floors. They are a minor piece, so I can't really piece together. Is it a jasmine? Is there indols in here? There is, but I can't really piece what it is, but it, it softens the blow. I can tell that the nose behind this, uh, Alexandra, um, utilize the white florals to kind of try to soften the sugary rush, but it's, it's, it's not working. It's, it's, it is giving it a little bit of smoothness and white florals will do that to heavy sugary fragrances. They pay, they, they pair well together. Um, if you know anything about fragrances, you'll see vanilla paired with white florals sometimes, especially niche to class it up a vanilla. Um, it's a neat trick to do. Um, but it's so minor in here that the vanilla is just going burnt, burnt, white vanilla, <laughs> white, white florals, burp, 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 eating it like Pac-Man. Um, honestly, there's not much to really say about this fragrance. It's a sugar vanillic overload. And I like my vanillas, but like, would I wear this? Yeah. Would I spend the money on this? No. Um, is it worth the money they're asking? Absolutely not. Um, and that's me as a fragrance reviewer. Do I like this kind of stuff? There's better out there, but does it smell okay? Yeah, if you're a vanillic gourmand kind of person like I am, um, you're gonna like this, but um, you know, for your two, three, four hundred dollars that you're spending, especially when you're in the game like I am, you know, you like small nuances. You like volumes, right? Um, you test fragrances with volumes in, in your head. Um, when you smell a really brash, loud gourmand fragrance, it, it has some screechiness to it. And you could tell that it's not made, not made with love, but made with expertise or, or like the best way I could describe it is this was a vanilla made with crayons versus a painting. Um, yeah, Gatelet and Nishio, that's where it is in the vanillas. It's a person doing it with crayons. We, you know, I made a picture and a Guerlain Spiritus de Bleu Veni versus this, it's like, oh wow, like I just made an art piece, right? Um, that can be hanging on, on, on a wall somewhere. So if the vanilla's volume was turned down, um, I can see uh, that there is some interesting parts behind it. There's not much behind that vanilla though. Like the vanilla out of 10, right now is out of 14 on my skin. And I like vanilla, that's fine, but it's a little too much. Turn the volume down to an eight out of 10. Now we can talk. Um, and I could probably see a little bit of those white florals peeking through a little bit more, give them a chance. Um, the amber glow, give it a chance. A little bit of that chocolatey, uh, I'm feeling chocolatey, caramelic hue, which is really nice. I think that a little turned up and maybe a little more even keel with the vanilla would be a lot nicer. Maybe throw in a couple spices, maybe throw in one wood, something like that, a little more interesting behind it. Um, not saying that everything has to be complex, but I'm just saying. So, yeah. Yeah, I love vanillas, but this is too synthetically done. It's loud, it's brash. Um, and not everybody can take a page from Gatelet, but they should. Um, and I understand that's their bread and butter. Brash, loud, expensive, you know, gourmand. It's just vanilla, like there's no, maybe there's a transition, like leather, no. Castorium, no, not even close. There's nothing there. Like even the white florals, like I'm mentioning them because I can, you know, I could sense them in there, but I can't say like, is it a jasmine? It might, it probably is, probably one of the most utilized white florals in the game. But that ambery caramelic hue is the only thing really giving this thing a little bit of that personality. If it didn't have that, oh my, I, I don't know where this would go. Nowhere. All right, so my thoughts are, um, eh, eh, that, that's it. Eh, um, it's, it's okay, I guess. Um, yeah, too loud, too synthetic. Okay. Now you can find this one at fragflex.com and lo and behold, they are expensive. So go check out discounters if you can. Um, I do have a code TFG10, gets 10% off. So it knocks off 10% off the price. Um, the coupon code is site-wide. doesn't matter what I review, what I look at, good or bad, doesn't matter. Um, and again, I'm not giving it a glowing review, but 
Yeah, 10% off uh, always helps a little bit, right? Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below, good, bad, and the ugly. Again, you don't have to co-sign me. You don't have to. I'm not looking for high fives everywhere. Um, you can go on the other side of the coin and tell me why you like it. Um, and, and again, I'm, I'm not saying that your fragrance is trash or anything. That's my opinion on the fragrance. Um, if you're looking for my opinion, perfect. If you're looking at this for just, just giggles, uh, entertainment, perfect. Um, but we don't have to agree on fragrances either at the same time, but I don't know. Like I, I've smelt worse things that I'd be like, oh, I don't want to wear that. Um, you know, I'm not, you know, my nose is not up in the air going, uh, you know, this is a gourmand and it's, I like gourmands. Um, but I prefer like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 19 anymore. I'm not 20 anymore. Um, this kind of stuff, I'm kind of past it and that might be my age. Fine. Um, yeah. So I can't wait to see the comments, good or bad, doesn't matter to me, great. As always, a greater poor fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your initial release wisely. And I love that Frag Flex is like sending me these kind of things that do have hype trains on them um, for me to try. I have an open mind. I can't wait to see what the next initial comes into play. It might be my next favorite, you never know. Have a good one.